my blood was. <laughs> But it's your girl Taro. Welcome to Grand Theft Auto 5 Roleplay and Freedom United. I am back with oh, Jessica yeah, Severe. This video is going to introduce her storyline, like her storyline, and the new character yeah. that she I, is I to exactly my saga. And day. honestly, guys, this is this partial of a five, a special for 500 uh, subscribers like, that I've been office. saving this off for. And I. I want to thank you all for doing this. Thank you all for being there, for supporting me. I never in my wildest dreams would have thought this would, okay? I never in my wildest dreams thought this was going to happen. So, yeah. Thank you so much. Enjoy the video. Okay, it's a bit loud. Hey, yo, you from apartment 210? Um, yeah? Well, guess what? It's been three months. I haven't got any any payment from you the past three months. I haven't even heard a peep from you. But they said that since this was sort of like a shelter, I didn't have to pay. Well, how do you think I got to pay for everything here? I got a mortgage to pay. I got electricity, water, and all that to pay. That's, that's not what I was told when they sent me here. Well, you signed the paper, the contract, that 20-page contract saying I need my money. Are you kidding me? That is not what I was told. They said this was a shelter. Here, here stay right here. Let me get my paper. I'll show you exactly where it says you need to pay up 200 every month. Oh, God. That's ridiculous. When I went to the people who need- what the hell is that? This is my joyride that I spent $20,000 on, okay? Well, why run look, a look place at, that takes in homeless teenagers? And... What the fuck? Listen up. This is 200 a month, alright? Normal places like this place, which is by far the most rinky-dinky place I've ever owned, they sell this place for like a thousand dollars a month. So consider yourself lucky only having to pay two hundred. Are you kidding me? Where am I supposed to go? That's a problem for yourself to find out. I have plenty of people on this wait list. This is ridiculous. This is not what they told me. What's what's to say on fine line uh, page number two? It says you gotta pay two hundred a month to the landlord every month on the dot of the first. Today is the seventh. I gave you a long enough time to pay for it. It's fucked up, man. I got nowhere to go. I'm only sixteen. Well, uh, that's that's a problem for you to decide. Now you're gonna have to leave the premises, or else you're gonna have to call the cops, or I have to uh, get a little Fuck more aggressive you. with this. You know what? Uh, Go choke on a fucking ball or some shit. Come on, keep going, keep going. Come fucking hit me with a bat? What kind of fucking landlord are you? You run a place that takes in you, homeless people. You stole people. from me. I didn't steal nothing. You, I don't have six hundred dollars. You stole my property. Fuck off! I'm leaving. You're lucky I don't call the cops on you. I'm leaving. Yeah, yeah, go on, go on, leave, leave. This whole property's mine. Leave. The park is not yours, idiot. I know. I'm gonna stop right here at the wall. Fuck off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck you. Bitch. The fact you too. Come here. Come here. Come on. Can't wait to hit the park this weekend. For sure. Fucking asshole. You even forgot to take your shit from your room. I Guess didn't have mine. anything, dumbass. I'm gonna find some place and spark up. Oh yeah. This is bullshit. <sighs> 
Wow, she just got fucking kicked out of her place she's living. Now she doesn't even have a place to live. Oh my god. What is this bullshit? What is this even? Are you kidding me? Unless those turn green. See if we can just walk and get to a place that's a lot warmer than what it is right now. Okay, that's not strange, but it, yeah, whatever. Are you having a hard time parking? Okay, boo. Okay, yeah, no. What in the world? <coughs> I'm feeling okay. A little heartburn sometimes, but it's no big deal. Um. I'm go post. So, you know, I don't like doctors in hospital. All right, all right. Stop tripping, oh. This might work. This might work, actually. Okay, so... or some shit. Hey, lady. Uh, uh, get in the... Get in the motherfucking car, you doing that, god damn. Get in that black Lambo, you okay. doing that. Move, move okay. fast like okay. that again, and then you will get okay. your book, you understand me? Sorry, sorry. Um, let's get somewhere and talk. What fuck? What's going on? Stay fucking quiet. Put some uh, some ties on her, and then uh, we'll head up to uh, head up to uh, where we can uh, get some stuff we need to get out of her. You know, what I mean? I'll follow you. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, let's keep. Oh my god. What the actual? <laughs> you ain't going nowhere, sweetheart. Where the actual fuck? The fucking hooker over there. That's Ain't you just a prick? What? It is a shame, isn't it? What the actual fuck? What are we doing? <laughs> Do 
Yeah, I follow. I'll talk to her here. You want me to follow you? I know just the place. Yeah, I do too. Let's take her down to the dungeon. The fuck? Oh my Here god. Is, sweetheart, going on a field trip. Oh my god, she's only 16. you're crying for I give you something to really cry about oh my god he's so mean what the actual fuck Back here, brother. Yep, just getting this old shirt. <laughs> Can't ever see where we're taking her now. Don't want to spoil the surprise. I don't. All right, good thinking, little brother. I'll see you down there, bro. Yep. All right, get that nice and secure. All right, you can't see anything. some rope Baseball first bag. that table snap with yeah i got some rope back here in the bag my hold on oh my god oh my god i still can't see anything they haven't there taken go, the blindfold there. off yet <laughs> they don't know what the hell she's about to get herself into her i'll tell you Alright, sweetheart. Don't resist nothing I'm doing. You only gonna make things worse for yourself. Why <laughs> do we want these lights down here? I don't think we need these ones over our here. I don't know. Oh my god. Might as well leave and fuck it. Oh. oh my god. Ain't so good for us, I almost feel bad. Alright. Yeah, you got that up there. I see that. All right. All right. Turn her my now way. Put your Turn arms her above way. your head. Yep. Yeah. Put your arms above your head, and we'll put them right there over the hook. There it is. All right. Now okay. you're gonna answer some goddamn questions. Where's your mama and your papa? Where are they at? Oh, 
Oh, she's still gagged. Yeah, I'm oh, still gagged. God damn it. <laughs> you want me to take All the right. blindfold off too so she can look at you? Yeah, go ahead and let her look right here. My fucking eyes. Oh my god. <laughs> Now you listen here. We ain't down here to play games with you. Where's your mama? Where's your papa? I don't know where they're at. I haven't I seen them in a while. I only asked you multiple times. Where the fuck is your mama and your papa? I haven't seen them in months. <laughs> Quit lying to us. That's right. I'm not lying. Here's the problem. Here's the thing. Your mama, your papa, done got up in the wrong organization. And they owe a lot of money. And now it's you that's paying, honey. <laughs> because if you can't get us the money, well, parents, uh, your mom and pop, uh, let me ask you this. You said you ain't talked to your mama or your pop in a while. What the hell happened so that I got a backdrop story? I left. Where'd they go? What'd they say to you? Nothing. They were too fucking high to notice. Too high. They was doing the drugs then. I don't know where they're at. What the hell you doing in this city? This is just where I ended up. I'm sorry, say that again. You're gonna have to speak. This is the just book, where though. I ended up. Alright, well, see, that they leaves us there with a problem. See, we're hired to do a job, okay? And if you don't have any connection with your mama or your papa, we got to carry out the job that we is given. And that job is, if you don't give us the information needed, we will be doing things we need to do. Do you, you understand me? I don't know anything. <laughs> All right. Do you know anybody that's got money? That can help us. No, I don't know anyone. That can pay off your mom and pop's goddamn debt. <laughs> Quit being fucking creepy, goddamn it. I don't listen. know. I just think. Listen, got this really pretty long blonde hair. It'd be a shame, when I mean, you got a point. You can cut that shit off. Oh no, don't cut her hair. I'll tell you here, hold on. Uh, you don't got much information for me now, do you? I don't know where they're at. I got nothing. But you need to start answering me. <laughs> yeah, uh huh. I am. They're gonna answer some questions. Where the hell they at? I don't know. <laughs> I like. <laughs> I'm gonna just go take a look outside. Make sure we weren't yeah, yeah, Check it out there. She ain't going nowhere. God damn it. Oops. Maybe there we go. Better. Well, unfortunately for honey, you're gonna go for a ride, and you ain't gonna come back. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, uh huh. Anyways, you ready to take her down? Hey, brother, come over here to get her down. I, don't I think she know uh, took a couple of whacks to the bat. <laughs> We got to take her to the final destination. She don't got no information. Come on. You set this bat down. I want to do one more thing.
Alright, help me get her hands down. Sweetheart. That bat. <laughs> hey, uh, she was hit with that bat twice, so make sure you cover her face because she's bleeding, I guarantee you. I'm going to leave the bat down here. It ain't got none of my, fat, none of my uh, you know, DNA on it, so if the police come down here for any fucking reason, it'll just have her DNA on it. <laughs> I just let me go, please. I'm not associated with sure. my family no more. Please. in her mouth, too. Please. Don't make me gay, sweetheart. I don't, don't want to have to. I didn't do anything. God damn it, I didn't just do, do it. anything. No, you heard the man. <laughs> damn it, I'm gagged and blindfolded again. Get in the fucking car. Let me go. I'll follow you. take her or am I taking her? Take her, I'll follow you. Take her to All the right. destination. Where okay, so I'm blindfolded. And they're taking me somewhere. Like, I don't know where the fuck they're gonna be taking her. Like, really? Her past is coming back to haunt her guys. So, her family was, her parents were very abusive, heavy drug addictions, you know. So she got the fuck out of there. And apparently, hitmen were put out on them yeah, with my the parents. Car, this fancy before girl. Mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> well, ironic. The first ride is the last ride. I am the Hey, man, I'm gonna, uh, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, do. I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna walk around the graveyard a little bit and see if I uh, can see a good spot. You just stay by the car, all right, brother? Yep. If she gives me any issues, I'll do the job quicker than expected. Hey, uh, you don't gotta shoot her or nothing. You know, I whacked her a couple times with that motherfucking bat. So, uh, if she gets loud or does anything stupid, uh, you know, just fucking knock her ass out. Still has the blindfold on. Jesus. Like I said, she's probably bleeding from the bat in the first place. Alright, so you look down here, come over here. Look over her, right down that way. You'll see that there's an empty grave. And they did, did, and but they must have just dug it, motherfucker, up for some, some sad sack shit. And uh, it's fresh, you know. So we'll put put her uh, right down in there, and throw some dirt right on top of her. It's already got the motherfucking shovel and uh, the goddamn dirt already ready to be put in the hole. So you know, I think they had that set up for some, you know. Like I said, some dead son bitch. Well, you know, she's fixing to go in there instead. Oh, my <laughs> so, God. Uh, whoever was having burial plans today, they're going to find out that grave's already fucking full. <laughs> like the thought process. Like it a lot. Yeah. Have you looked at her eyes or anything? Because I hit her with that motherfucking bat. She's probably fucking bleeding. Ah, look at her though, she's shaking. I think she can hear it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Poor thing. Well, I mean... 
you know how mom and pa is. I mean, they raised us, and, uh, you know, they always taught us what you do or what your parents do, you reap the sow. So either you marry the fuck up and handle business, or you be the weak one. We're out here, we're the wolves that, you know, we don't mess with the bullshit. We get paid to handle the bullshit. That's how mom and pa raised us. Her fucking Even parents was crackheads. Well, you know, nonetheless, you know how it is. You know, I made shit, man. Her fucking parents must, like she said, you know, on drugs and all that nonsense shit. And that's probably what that trouble that got her in here in the first place. But Honestly, hell, she I mean, might be better off this way. Hey, I mean, it, you know, typically if I if I read it, I think I read it in fucking book or magazine or something. Typically, uh, you know, when your parents is drug addicts or alcoholics and shit, and typically you become one or two. So, oh my God! Shit, man, taking her right now, putting her in that fucking grave when it gets dark out, man. We're gonna probably help her out with the, you know, all the suffering of the cold winters and all that, and uh, possibly getting hooked on the cocaine or the. The cracker got that. They're making self, it you know I mean? seem but like it's like they're doing a good thing. I ain't trying to justify the means of the job here. I'm just telling you the truth, you know? Believe that. You know, Paul used to hunt. He used to, you know, teach us how to shoot. And that's why oh we both got a hell of a long range shot, man. But I tell you, I think Papa got into some crazy shit. I think that's where the blood runs through our veins. <coughs> Oh my god. Sun's going down there behind that fucking building over there. We shouldn't have to wait all that too long. I'm gonna uh, turn my car on. Public out of here. Yeah, no, I hear you. I'll tell you what, though, brother. Hey, you know, fucking graveyards creep me out at night, regardless, man. The fucking word. Oh my god. I feel right at home. Hope you enjoyed the joyride, sweetheart. It's almost time. Yo, I looked through the fucking window, man. I didn't see much, man. She fucking awake. <laughs> yeah, she's awake. She saying anything or trying to? Right. Yeah, she's trying. Do you hear me in there? Sure. I mean, I could get in there and take the gag off, but, uh, and we risk her well, screaming man, and all that. We can, keep, we can keep the gag on her, but hell, man, she she already probably done heard what the hell we've been saying. We might as well, let her, might as well let her watch the, the walk to her own goddamn grave, if you know what I'm saying. <gasps> oh, that's so <laughs> mean! Oh, that's so mean! Well, I say it's about sundown. Yeah, it's about good timing. Get a move on it. Take this cigarette out of my mouth. Mm. Alright, come on with you. Just grab me. Follow me, brother. And <laughs> don't struggle with me. <laughs> What's that old thing calling? An eye for an eye, tooth for tooth. Yep, that sounds about right there, brother. Why the fuck did you use my goddamn name? Mm. Ain't nobody around here. Hey, you see this right here? <laughs> they done got it ready for you and everything. Uh, How uh, sweet. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Alright. Hey, uh, hey, Levi, go ahead and uh, put it right in front of that grave right there. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> Oh, 
All right, I want you to look at me. Uh-huh, yep, all right, yep. Now this is gonna be your last resting place, you understand? I, I feel sorry for you in a way. Sleep with the fucking dirt. All right, I'm gonna start uh, throwing the uh, dirt on her from here. Yep. All right, I'm gonna throw some more dirt over on this side <coughs> here, and then uh, just gonna her on up, make sure she's good, nice and uh, about six feet down in that hole. Oh my god. Yep. All right, man, let's head the fuck out of here. Ah, uh, they're coming. Yep, uh, it looks half filled. Like normally, a grave is like six oh, feet under. Oh shit! I see a head. Oh, is, is that it? <laughs> it's under my butt. Oh shit! Whoa. Okay, oh, oh. so now. Okay, go over here. Take over. Okay, so hold on. Sweet. Jesus, who the fuck does this? Oh my god. Okay, let's keep let's keep getting her out. Sir. Ma'am, can you hear us? I'm saying a little I'll check her vitals. I just try to get to her, I'm gonna keep digging. Okay, let me go grab uh, you have a med bag in your car, yeah? yeah they yep. found her! She's not <coughs> breathing. She... Frick. I'm gonna run back to my car because I'm a volunteer or a firefighter. I have a, I have oxygen therapy equipment in my car. Alright, you go get what you need. I'll keep digging. Okay. Okay, I got it. I'm checking. I'm checking her area right now just to make sure uh, to see if there's any dirt inside that she might have uh, either swallowed or breathed in. I am seeing some dirt. I'm just gonna put my finger and try to chill her hit to the side and try to uh, take try, it out. Yeah, put her in the recovery position and give her back hits. I'm gonna get the uh, oxygen can canisters for uh, oxygen therapy, right? Okay, I think what we should try to do is we should try to carry her out and onto the uh, the harder grass over here so that we can uh, easily take care of her. Okay, all right, let's lift her on three. One, two, three. All right, let's get her okay. up here. Uh, let's oh, go. Oh wait, I'm so okay. frozen, hold on. Let's set her down here. Uh, I think all I got right. a good amount of dirt so we can probably try to check for a, a pulse or a breathing. If not, we're gonna have to do some CPR. Yeah, let me get that oxygen in as soon as we clear out the mouth. Tell me when you get her pulse. Yeah, I will. Alright, we got paramedics on the way still, so they should be here any minute since uh, we got to call them early. Okay guys, so we Hi, are released. Uh, I don't mean to be so personal, but were you the person that was recently sent because of uh, the incident at the graveyard? Yeah. Alright, um... Would you... Okay, well, of course, since whatever happened, we, we do need to question you about some stuff. Uh, would you rather speak here or would you want to go to a station uh, and just sit and talk in the office? Um, I don't... I, 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 go to the 
station. I don't want to be in open. That's not an issue. We can go to station if you like. Okay, let's uh, let's head over to my car. And uh, just before I get you in my vehicles, if I just do a, a pat down on you, just to make sure you don't have anything on you that could uh, hurt yeah. you. Alright, uh, you're good. Just uh, take a seat in the back. Or actually, if you want to sit in the front, that's good with me as well. Um, I'm okay. Alright, ma'am. Um, we're going to start off. My name's uh, Lieutenant Ten with the uh, Los Angeles Police Department. All right, uh, regarding the whole situation, uh, we are still, you know, a little shocked as to what happened, but uh, for first start, uh, is it possible to just get your name? Yeah, it's Jessica Severe. Uh, could you say it one more time? It's, uh, Je it's a little hard to hear you. Jessica Severe. All right, Jessica. Um, do you by any chance remember um, what happened? Uh, yeah, I do. Alright, what do you remember for, before um, you were brought to the uh, the graveyard? Uh, Andrew, that's not how that works, buddy. I remember. You can take your time. It's no worries. Um. I got kicked out of the house I was living in. I was walking down the street, and they, they just came up and held a gun to my head, and it just threw me in, in the car. I don't know where they brought me, because they blindfolded me, and... I couldn't talk either. Oh. Alright. Uh, I'm only 16. I don't- I didn't do anything. Hey, don't worry, girl. Everything's gonna be okay, right? You're in safe hands, alright? This- this investigation will be passed on to the, uh, the proper authorities, okay? FID's probably gonna take this case. And uh, you'll be put in protective custody just in case um, these bad people try to come after you again. I did you remember them saying that I, I have to pay a debt because of my parents? And I haven't seen them in months. I left. They were too high. I didn't notice that I left. <laughs> Alright, it's gonna be alright, okay? You wanna, in the meantime, do you want anything to eat? Do you want anything to drink? No. Good. Alright. I'll, I'll just be your back, alright? I'm just gonna get myself a cup of coffee, alright? Alright, man, uh, I know you didn't, I know you said you didn't want anything, but, uh, I just got you a cup of coffee, uh, some donuts and some chips, didn't know what you, you really wanted, so, just, you know, thought that you, you could have that either way, later now, you know? Uh, okay, thank you. It's no problem. Anyways, um, well, before my, uh, the other unit that was, uh, with us on this, uh, call gets here, um, do you have any idea as to why these men could possibly target you in any way and say that it was because of your parents? Uh, well, well they, they, they were trying to get information out of me of where they were. Uh, apparently, my parents uh, borrowed money from their employer and they were just hit men for hire and they couldn't find them, so they came up after if to me, that's, that's what they said. Uh, 
All right, I understand that. I and, thought when um, I left, I would brief? not hear about them ever again. Even even when I left, they're still fucking abusing me. I don't understand. Is there any way we could contact your parents, or um, no, is there I, any way we we you know where they live? No, I don't know where they're at. I don't know if they're alive. I I ran away months ago. All right. Um, do you know their? Do you remember their names by any chance? I can see if uh, I can try to search them <coughs> up and try to get a hold of them. I don't want them here. I don't know if they're even alive. And I don't no, care. No, I understand. I, I just wanted to see if uh, I can just try to find out more about this situation by contacting them or anybody uh, who might be close to them about the situation. Close to them? The only one people that are close to them is their fucking drug dealer. Oh, when... Drug dealer? They're crackheads. I see. Uh, might that be the reason why you uh, you left home? Yes. All right, I understand. All right. Um, let's see. Were there anything else that the gentleman might have said to you that might have stand out, or? might help us you know give a clue as to who we can find out these people are um um i heard them use the names colin and levi i think that's colin what they levi, called each right? other i don't i don't know and you don't even know if those are our real names or i'm not right, no, no i'm problem. not even colin sure if that's their real names or i don't know or it's, 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 it's not a shift don't worry um, anything distinct about them? Their facial features, a scar, a uh, tattoo? One guy had a very bushy beard. It was a dark brown or a black. Uh, he was bald. Um, the other guy, very blonde hair. It looked like he uses, if, I, if I'm correct, he, I think he used a lot of them. Um, Hair products because it seems to stand on end, like a porcupine kind of, or a hedgehog. Type All right. Deal. So something like a mohawk ish. Um no, he had a full head of hair. It was just very spiky. All right, I understand. I do remember they took me they they took me down to like this sort of. I'm not sure if it was a warehouse or something. It had like a jack for car parts in it. I, I don't know. <laughs> okay. I right, um, I'm uh, for, I'm gonna go and try to look into some of these details. Uh, the uh, nice trooper here will be uh, help continuing the investigation while I go do that. Right. Uh, okay. If he asks the same questions, just feel free to just answer them. How uh, answer them? You know how how you did with me. You don't have to worry. Okay, you're not in any trouble. Okay. And if you need anything, just, just uh, call me on the radio. Will do. Hey, how's it? Hi. Hey, how's it going? So I'm gonna start with what happened. Um, like, like I told the other guy, I was just walking and they grabbed, they came up and just, just put a gun to my head and they just grabbed me, blindfolded me and... Like I mentioned to him, Apparently has something to do with money my parents owed their employer or something. I don't I don't know. Where where were you when this happened? Uh, when they were fucking trying to 
literally beat it out of me. I, I was, well, I was down somewhere. There were stairs. Um, I don't know where it sounded like a. It was loud. I don't. I don't know. They had me blindfolded. Did you know how many people you heard while you were blindfolded? Just two. Two. And were they both males? Uh, yeah. Okay, and, and what, what area were you kidnapped in? Like near, uh, Forum Drive, uh, Grove Street? Um. Uh, um. It was near... It, I think it was closer to Grove Street. Closer to Grove? It's like, uh, do you know, like, even if you don't know the area, just no. like, uh, what did you see there? Um, there was... Oh, yeah, hold, it... hold on real quick, hold on real quick. Oh, okay. Okay, oh, sorry about that, just had to have something checked. Uh, that's okay, um, I remember walking, it looked like some sort of loading bay with, you know, the giant trucks not the big semis but the smaller ones there did you see was it a gold postal truck a light a dark blue one um i'm not i don't remember it was dark i, I think i think i know what area you're talking about you were put into one of the like a commercial vehicle truck uh, no i was in a sports car I just okay. happened to walk behind the, the area that it looked like it was a loading dock for cargo, but not the big trucks. There was a fence, and it led into yeah, a major like a... highway. Not not major highway, but major Next to road. A major... major road. Did it have like a black fence, you know, like uh, the bars going up and down? Yeah, it was barred. It looked like it was a barred fence, not not a chain fence. I don't know. Okay, did, and you didn't see them at all when they kidnapped you, yeah? No, I saw them several times. One had a very big beard, either black or brown. He was bald. Um, the other one had like blonde hair and it stood up like, like you know, like a hedgehog quills or porcupine. It was very spiky. <laughs> and were they, was the one with the blonde hair wearing a black jacket? Um, he was wearing a darker colored clothes, but I only saw their face. Okay, all right. Do you feel that you're targeted or do you think, uh, like, do you know anyone who has any uh, reason to do this for, against you? Um, well, they said that it's not, they said that since they couldn't find my bearings to collect on their debt, they were going after me. I haven't seen my parents in months. Do you have a name of your parents that I could contact? I... I, I don't know where they're at. I don't even know if they're alive and I don't remember what their name uh, is. You got a name for us? No, I don't remember what their names are they were too fucking high to even bother with me did you have a name for your parents N no i i don't remember what their names were uh what's your name maybe we can trace it back um my name's jessica severe uh, could you spell that last name for me s e V E R E. 
Okay, thank you, Jessica. So we'll probably be able to find who your parents were. And uh, do, when did you ran, run away from them? I don't know. Maybe, like, almost a year ago? Yeah, you know if they had any gang affiliation or if they were uh, borrowing money from loan sharks? I don't, I don't know. All I know is they never were not high. They're crackheads. Oh boy, okay. Alright, I, I gotta talk to my supervisor who just left, but uh, me personally, I, I think we should keep you in protective uh, custody. And, like until like we can get an ID on those guys or you know we take them in or something I don't feel it's safe to just leave you out and about in case they do this again because you almost died <clears throat> from that let me go Counter. talk to him and see what he's come up with, and, uh... Yeah, uh, you want the coffee? Go. Oh, he... You want something else to eat? You probably haven't eaten in a while. He actually brought some stuff. There's a couple of donuts and chips on there as well. Oh, okay, perfect, then. Yeah, let me go talk to him, see what he has on his end, and then... We'll try to see what we can do for you. Okay. I'll be right back. Oh my goodness. What I got from her was she thinks it's uh, loan sharks, basically, who came after her parents, but I guess they couldn't uh, get the parents to pay up, so they took her instead and I guess beat her to set an example. I, I don't get that shit. I mean, they, they were gonna kill her, so I don't know if, like, their example of setting an example is to just kill somebody or at least torture them to the max and then bury them alive she's she's a freaking teenager like what yeah, the fuck yeah I, I ran her in the system she she's basically got a clean clear uh record and you know she you know she, she's she was, she's so young and i don't know why the hell this happened to her yeah, did, were you able to get a ping on the parents on like what their name was and address? No, she didn't give it to me. That. Oh no, but I mean like she, she doesn't know their names and all that, but I'm sure if we pull it up into the uh, city and county records, you know, we'd probably find her birth certificate somewhere. Yeah, we can try to see her last name if anything comes up, but uh, the only thing I really got back as well was the two names from the... Uh, the guys that uh, apparently kidnapped her, she told me two names, but she said that she doesn't know if it's the actual names or the, like, an alias they use for each other. I mean, technically, okay. it's just All right. Sense. There's no, uh... Nothing stopping me from uh, I personally think that she should be placed into protective custody. Yeah, I definitely agree. Okay. Uh, I, I yeah, like until we can. Spot. Okay, good. I don't. As, if we don't have them in, or we don't even have a name on them, and if they're affiliated to a gang, I feel there's gonna be retaliation if they find out she's alive. Yeah, that's for sure. She's just it's okay, goddamn. And uh, and she's she, she's so young and she's having to deal with all this. Like you know, she, like goddamn. <laughs> Tough, man. I have a daughter back home, and she's just about her age. Uh, Can't well, deal with the bullshit uh, people do nowadays, man. No, uh, yeah, I agree for sure. Fucked up. Well, I mean, with, <laughs> with whatever we have, you know, we there, we can't really go off what we have because we don't really have much of names or you know people how they look like. So we can only just pass this on to the FIB and and hope you know the. They, they managed to catch these people. Yeah, uh, let me go talk to her some more. If you gotta file up big paperwork some more and all that, protective custody forms. Uh, I don't know forms yeah, upon forms. I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and start that, and uh, I'll be able, I think, to uh, bring her over to one of the uh, 
demo demo so just uh you get her set up in there yeah find like uh, one of our safe houses i'm sure fib will let us share <laughs> yeah let us share all right <clears throat> um i'll be up in my my office uh it's unfortunately labeled as the captain's office uh but I'll be in there. You can uh, bring her up with yourself. Or once you guys are done, I'll start the paperwork up there. Okay. See you at the captain's office and captain. Hey, how's it going? Hey, Alex. Uh, I'm doing okay. Yeah. Why can't I walk? The, um, there we go. How old are you again? One of the discrepancy you guys have in the game. Sixteen. Cage motel would be you know, while, motel while he just fills out the paperwork upstairs, uh, we decided we're going to put you into protective custody uh, until we can uh, figure out what happened here. Uh, we're uh, talking with FIB. They're going to launch an investigation to what happened. Um, as for now, we're trying to trace your parents. We uh, It's a lot of paperwork to fill out. I don't think I can get the door open. <coughs> All right, let's uh, hop out of here. Alright, which floor was, uh, I think it's the second floor. Oh my god. Got you a nice house just by the, uh, the ladder here. So, in case if you need to run away from the people, you can climb out the ladder and run away. But, uh, yeah. So okay. basically, this will be your temporary safe house. Uh, if anything does pop up, we will have to obviously move you. But um, for issues like clothes and laundry, and whatnot, feel free to pack the number on the paper down here by the nice little snacks. Uh, okay. Uh, we'll have our own dedicated services to be able to take care of all your needs. Um, like I said, in any case, there is a telephone here. You can call myself or the uh, the trooper. Um, you will get your own mobile phone. I'll just uh, pick it up from the trooper downstairs. Uh, besides that, you know, anything that you know you want to ask about, anything that you're worried about that you want to know? Uh, not really. Just that they're, they're not gonna find me. Not are, really? Are they not? They're just they're not gonna find me. Well, uh, I obviously can't say for sure that they won't find you, but we'll do our best to make sure these people won't be able to find you ever again. Okay. If it comes down to them being able to even try to find your location, we'll have to, we'll definitely immediately move you to a different safe house, if not move you out of state to uh, the county. Oh, okay. This, this is nice. All right, Jessica, here's your new phone. Oh, thank you. It has, uh, it, it has quite a lot of uh, messaging features and uh, hours to call, so you shouldn't worry too much about running out. Um, before I leave, is there anything, any final questions, anything you want to ask, any worries? No, I think I'm good. I think I'm going to go All right. to sleep. Well, uh, with that, I'm going uh, all right, I'm not going to bug you too much anymore. Uh, if you need anything, feel free to call myself uh, or the station or anybody, of course. And uh, we'll be happy to come down and check on you. Okay, thank you. All right, you take care. All right, Jessica. All right, bye. Bye-bye. Oh, okay. Let's lock the door. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching, it, and that was intense. It was a longer video, but I think it was worth it. Her storyline is starting off big. We've got some backstory, got some future story going. 
girl oh, is man. living luxury now, and that, 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 yeah, yeah holy totally fuck. Out but yeah, she's living luxury now with unfortunate circumstances. But thank you guys so for watching. Thank you guys so much for the 500 subscribers, and y'all are amazing. Um, if you like the episode, go ahead and hit the bell icon, hit the like button. And if you're new to this one, and this is your first one you saw, welcome to the channel. Go ahead and subscribe if you want to. But anyways, guys, I'm going to leave that there. Have a wonderful, wonderful time. Goodbye.